is right around the bend. And the world's got wonders to spare. Prehistoric lore to restore and befriend. So get out there, go if you dare. I like the 3DS. Okay. I like dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like kind of like raising games. Oh, I haven't played uh, any Pokemon game extensively, which is which is my bad. You you, you need to correct that someday. But more than any game. of those things. Okay. More than any of those things. Sure. I like alliteration. <laughs> I love it. Fossil fighters. Fossil fighters. fighters. Frontier. frontier. Frontier, not frontiers. Some right. people do frontiers. Yeah, yeah, I like frontiers. But just one frontier in this game. Honestly, there's multiple frontiers. They kind of drop the ball on that. Okay. You travel in the world. You go to different countries and go on their frontiers. So you think those are frontiers? That, that, that's what constitutes a multiple frontier. What is the end of a frontier? When does one frontier end and the other one begins? Uh, it depends on your era. I think it depends on your time era. You know, it's, it's hard to explore. Really, you're not exploring anything. There's tracks. You know, you, you just feel like you're exploring a video game. Here, there's four sections of this game. Uh, there's four, like, you are, there's four games, you know, right? Like, so first it's the RPG, the top down. You yeah. have that. Uh, second is you're driving around in the frontiers in your car, your uh, bone buggy. There's more alliteration that for you. you can customize. You can customize your bone buggy. Uh, next is, uh, of course, your RPG battles, the battle system. I mean, we'll probably get to it. I don't care for it. It's not very good. Uh, but this is where your vivosaurs fight each other. Uh, and then lastly, my least favorite part, and maybe the most essential, no, they're all essential, uh, is uh, excavating bones. I like how you, you slipped vivosaurs right in there. It was kind of like, you know, vivosaurs. So, so, but this is an established franchise. We should probably set that up. This is a, yeah, how many, established how franchise. Many I think fossil this is fighters third, I think this is the third fossil fighter game. So is it the actual fossils that are fighting? Like, do these fossils come to life? So here's what you do. You, the, the bones you excavate are, are actual dinosaur bones. Those are dinosaurs. But you use those dinosaur bones to make a vivosaur. So you're not making dinosaurs. You're making vivosaurs out of dinosaur bones. Right. And then if you add another bone to your dinosaur bone, it makes your vivosaur stronger. So I get this. So vivosaur I get because viv means life. Sure. And so it's like you, you, it's better than a dead dinosaur because that's what all, you know, all the dinosaurs today are obviously yeah, dead. Like it's a mortosaur, I it's guess. Present day is, in, is in the future. Is it on Earth? Uh, yeah, that's the weird thing, Brandon. Is I would not think this is Earth, but I'm going to Asia and I went to America. And yeah, that, that, the, these are, I guess it's the future. So I watched the trailer yeah. uh, beforehand because I wanted to get prepped on this. Really great, awesome 80s slash 90s rock ballad. Yeah. Uh, uh, trailer. The game starts with that. Yeah, which is why I, I, which I came to the really, really, I came to the realization as I was watching it that all games need that. Mm -hmm. they, they need just like a rock song. Uh, but you mentioned the first thing you said top down, and I didn't see any top down in there. It was lots of driving, lots of dinosaurs screaming energy bolts at each other. Yeah. And lots of excavation, which makes perfect sense with the 3DS. So the top down, yeah, it's actually funny. It's you know where you'll have dialogue and where you'll go around and talk to people and you know choose your next mission. But it basically it's that. You don't do any exploring in, in like this top-down RPG expect perspective. Uh, that is simply, you know, uh, kind of your character. You see your character, and man, it's just like those zones. It's, it's so it's like I'm going to America, but I'm only allowed to be in this one zone of America where only the the uh, fossil fighters are allowed to go. Wardens, you're all called wardens. So the fossil fighters are the vivosaurs. It's like a, fossil fighters, like a nickname for the vivosaur. No. Fossil Fighter is never used inside of the game itself. Oh, okay. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> so here's you the thing. Don't say. People watching this are probably curious about the game. They probably want to know if I would say it definitely skews younger. Uh, What's competing with this on the 3DS right now? Other than like Smash Brothers, still. You, I mean, you like do. What? You compare it against Pokemon, I would say, and I don't think it compares favorably against Pokemon. But you're right. It is. If you know, it's been months since a Pokemon game came out. Why not Fossil Fighters? 8.4 uh, did the translation, and it kind of shows. It's really funny sometimes <laughs> in, in ways that they kind of, it's very, it's almost subversive the way that they're funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're very aware that these are video game characters. So there's an Australian who says, uh, I'm warming up my dingeridoo to play waltzing Matilda. <laughs> so you, like, you can't play that game on a or song on, a, on dingeridoo, obviously, but so they're just like, come on, man. Dingeridoo. Uh, <laughs> So uh, it's good. It's I think it'd be cool for kids. I definitely do think it'd be a cool game for kids. I don't recommend it for anyone my own age, at all. 
Well, no, I'm sorry. I don't like to make recommendations. You're right. But I think... Because I'm saying, like, what if your birthday is, like, this month, right? Yes. You already have Pokemon. You already have Smash Brothers. You already have, you know, Link Between Worlds. You have, like, all the amazing 3DS games. And then you got your, your Toys R Us, your Best Buy certificate. And all you have is really your 3DS. This is what I love. I love the Bone Buggy. <laughs> I love that. I love exploring these worlds. I love the frontiers. I don't love chiseling away at bones with a t- ticking clock. That's not the way ticking to do it. Ticking clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get 60 What's seconds at that? first. Yeah, oh God, it's so nerve wracking. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I don't like the fighting system either. What's the ticking clock supposed to si- uh, simulate? Like you have a really like annoying boss or something it's, that's like, ah, oh, you're done. Get out of there. Jim, it, you go do it now. That's what's really, <laughs> it's the battery on your bone buggy dictates how many seconds you get to excavate a, a bone. Whoa. Do you yeah. get better batteries? You do. You can game? upgrade How your battery. How long have you played this game? Ah, uh, gosh. Maybe two hours? I hope not. Seems like a long two hours, Kyle. I know. Oh, my God. I think it may have been to like two hours. <laughs> Just got to America. Man, because I tried the tournaments. I don't like the fight. I got to reiterate. I don't like the way this works. Because you don't get a lot of control. It's you and two buddies. And they also have Vivosaurs. They'll do what they want. Uh, you can pick your buddies, but you can't pick your buddies' moves. Uh, I think they're called Bone Buddies. No, they're called Paleo Pals. Paleo Pals. Um, <laughs> more, more alliteration. Uh, and uh, basically you can, like, you can like up the guy's attack before he attacks, but you only get like, a limited window of time. Or you can like, heal him, but you only get that limited window of time, even though it's turn-based. It's, it's a real mess, to be honest. Uh, but I can see definitely people liking it and getting into it. And leveling up is slow, which is something I actually appreciate. But you did choose to play this game. I did you choose like, it. You were like, I'll try it. Yeah. What, was, what, what, what happened there? It was that trailer, man. <laughs> I wanted to feel the feelings of that trailer. Adventures right around the bend. <laughs> I wanted that, you know what I mean? And so, like, uh, I'm not sure it really fulfills that promise. Everything feels very segmented. Those four zones that I introduced in the beginning, they all feel very segmented. It never feels like one congruous thing. Shucks. So you're not going back to this game. But kids might, the kids might check it out. Yeah, and Instead also of getting your kid that gift certificate because he won't buy this game when he goes to the store, yeah. maybe just get him Fossil Friders Frontier Final Chapter. What? Oh, ah. Uh.